the best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Well, Gemma will be here any minute. I'm just starting the vlog, it's quarter past three. So today I decided to get all of that uh, deep fat fryer finished. Deep fat fryer, deep fat fryer. <laughs> deep fat fryer, all cleaned up and put together. And then I filled it up with caustic, turned it on, it works. The caustic boiled, which helped me clean the element a little bit more. And I've just put it down in the corner where you've just seen then on the intro. So the next job is go next door and start work on the back bar. I know it's late, but I'm gonna just crack on with it. I think I'll get quite far, actually. The back bar is gonna consist of scaffolding boards. Stuart's been across to Bill Thorpe. Bill's, eh, Bill Thorpe, to pick up 10 scaffolding boards this morning. Reclaimed, 14 pounds each, and they are actually pretty damn good. Let's go and check them out. I'm really impressed with them. Oh my god, look how dark it is in here. There is actually another light that I can turn on, but I had to sort of uh, jerry rig it while I'm waiting for a sensor, which is why you can't see my face very well. But these are the planks, got 10 of them. They're full size, they look really pretty good. So I'm going to take them upstairs and start to put them in position. But before I do that, I'll just sort this light out. Alright, what is freedom? Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. You probably have picked up what I'm doing here. Been racking my brains out to finish one end of the bar so we can have the shelves up without the possibility of somebody walking past the end of the bar and you know, taking a bottle, bottle of gin off the shelf. I know it's, we've got CCTV, we'll find who did it if it ever happened, but I just think it doesn't look right having the end of the products, the end of the shelves exposed with products on. So what I'm trying to do is come up with a racking system like this which will allow me to block off one side as you can see how thick this is going to be and then I can clad this side with some pallet wood, bring the pallet wood around and just bring it into where the scaffolding boards start. Now the scaffolding boards running directly across like that, they are of course the braces effectively for the shelf. And then on this side, I could put some type of display or whatever there, and we can continue to bring the scaffolding, uh, the, 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 
potatoes here. The pallet wood along this wall, just to cover in this gap, and then as well to cover in the gap, I'm going to put some timber, basically extend the frame both sides. It'll look natural, I think. I think. We'll see when we get there. I mean, don't, you know, hold me on that one. Don't quote me on it. Well, that's the plan. Two separate uprights, like that. Scaffolding bars running across. Three shelves, nice and tall. This one's probably not going to have anything on it, apart from display uh, things. And the top shelf as well. So we have two, effectively two display shelves, and then these are going to be functional shelves with stackers on them, so we can actually get three tiers of bottles on. One, two, three, if you know what I mean, on little upstands so you can see which is behind, giving us quite a lot, I think, of room for the bottles. That's the plan. It's coming together, but relatively slowly. Yeah. And here is the shelf. It's been a bit of a difficult one today. I've not really felt the vibe to get the camera out. I've just cracked on with the job. But I like how it's come together. So we've got a shelf on the edge after we've clad it to put flowers and such like on. And then we can do that over these two shelves. Put some type of display thing up on the top one, I'd imagine. It's nice that the shelves are built in. And then along the top, We've got the tea chests, which I wanted up there originally. And then all I have to fathom out now is how we're gonna illuminate the bottles which we will have stacked on like a three tier stand system. So your smaller bottles at the front, medium in the middle, tall ones on the back or whatever, however it works. I think it's coming together nicely, that little section. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to take it all down, flatten it all with the sander, put some stain on it if it requires it, cut it in for the lights. In fact, I might wait till the lights come before I do any of that. And then clad the whole thing with pallet wood. What are you doing, Dominic? I'm just watching you Right, I'm going to go and uh, lock up next door, chicken. Okay. Do you want the car key? Yeah. Oh. No, no. Yeah. It looks really good out here, doesn't it? The nice, nice warm glow coming from inside Why the pub. The nice Nutters. Anyway, it's already descending into madness now. They've come to pick me up. So we'll wrap it up here, folks. And we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Yeah.